Hello, I'm Tracy Grimshaw. Welcome to A Current Affair. In exactly two months, no one will be allowed to climb Uluru. Most people have an opinion on that and Senator Pauline Hanson is no exception. She's been leading the charge against the ban. Tonight you will hear from both sides of the debate as she and our own Marty King go to Uluru, meet with local landowners and climb the rock. We want to hear from you tonight. On the bottom of your screen are the real-time results of our Facebook poll which started moments ago. So please do join the conversation as you watch. When I heard about the rock closing, I was not happy, all right? And I thought, you know, this belongs to all Australians. I think it's special. It is special to be here. What reasons people come out, whether they see it as a challenge, it's an iconic part of Australia to be involved in it and to enjoy it. I'd like to see the climb stay open. I really would. It's so, a big part of our Indigenous culture. Yeah. And I'm listening to the traditional owners of the land here and I will talk to them. And those so our opinion doesn't matter, yeah. Yeah. even though we're Indigenous. So, beautiful. I'm listening to the traditional owners of the land. One small step for Pauline Hanson. Um, it's sacred. If you look at the rock, the constant mark that has now gone up it, that's going to be scarred for years. One giant leap into controversy. I, I might argue the point with you, I'm Indigenous. I was born here, I'm native to the land. So, you know, there, there is, um, I'm Australian as well, and mm. I'm yep. Indigenous as well. Now, so I think any There's part a doubt, of doubtful look on your face. Why, why, why do you look so doubtful? She's Indigenous. Yes, I am. Do you know the word Indigenous? Yeah, I do. Native to the yeah. land. I was born here. If I, if, where's my land if it's not Australia? Uh, England? What? No, it's not. It's See, not I don't England. know England. I wasn't born there. Oh. It's the rumble at the rock. You a fan of Pauline? No. Uh, no, not really. Why oh, not? <laughs> People have been climbing the rock all these years and now all of a sudden they want to shut it down. It's no different to coming out and saying, we're going to close down Bondi Beach because there are some people there that have drowned. How ridiculous is that? And like how she compared um, Uluru to um, most one day beach. Australian. It's about a comparison to a lot of Australian people. So it's not being disrespectful, it's putting it in comparison so a lot of people will understand. From the nation's capital via Bondi Beach to the ochre earth of the Red Centre. <laughs> For all that hot wind that comes out of Canberra, it's a cold desert blast that greets Senator Pauline Hanson. It's ironic, isn't it? Uh, you're here to keep the climb open or to fight to keep the climb open, but today the climb's shut because it's too windy. <laughs> it is because of the weather, but we'll see what happens. Now we don't have animal people employed with our own badge. Senator Hanson's companion is Jimpana Ulara, a senior member of the Ananu Major Council of Elders. She's worried about jobs for the local people, Ananu, and closing the Uluru climb, she claims, will make it worse. So Jimpana invited Australia's most controversial politician to get involved. I'm not being disrespectful, well, you pointed but Jennifer is saying, no, Jennifer, I don't know, are you, were you born here? No, I wasn't born in NT, no. Right, so you're an Aboriginal from outside. Yeah, but I still have an opinion. Right, you can have an opinion, but that's what they're angry about, is that Aboriginals from outside are coming to take jobs from the locals. I work with the locals. Oh yeah, we, we work, work with, with locals. locals. You might work with the locals, but what they're saying is the locals are not getting And they the have a good here. opinion about us And that here. is a concern to them. That's what's great about this country, Pauline. Eh? You've got your opinion, they've got their opinion, and we're free to have they, it. They, we're free to have it. And they've had their opinion. Yeah. But I have come not to talk to a 19 or a 21 year old that's not from this, this uh, community. It's like I've come in and I've got my opinion. Do I know what's happening here? No, I don't. But I have been invited and I'm here to talk to people. If they are living here, they're living basically at the base of the rock. I mean, and, and they, they don't are... come from this area, Mark. Money, all right? They don't live here. What's more important is I've come out but, here. Nor do you. Of course. And what did I say? Nor do I. What did I say? I've come here to listen to the traditional owners. I've come here by invited by the elders. Oh, 
Marie George. 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 Nobody's more traditional than the Uluru brothers, Cassidy and Reggie. They are Jilpi's senior owners of The Rock. After a series of private meetings, it's decided Senator Hansen has their blessing to climb the rock. It's OK? Yes, it is all right for you to climb the rock. Thank you. It's beautiful. It's truly beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. And, it's amazing. And, and you think it should be climbed? She can climb it anyway. Anyone can until October 26. It's all about respect, says the senator. Meanwhile, out at the rock, it's all about the wind. Are we a chance to climb it in the morning? Again, uh, forecast. Up, uh, if it's if the wind, uh, I think the wind early in the morning is the better chance uh, that it will be open. Is this the first time you've been to Uluru? Yes. Yes, it is. And, and it's just amazing. What to is see your this. opinion of this magnificent monument? Well, that's what it is. It is absolutely magnificent, and I've, you know, I imagined it, but unless you're really here in front of it, it yeah. it's really hard to, to understand how it, it's beautiful. It's truly beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Basically, our sunrise patrol, we check the climb uh, about five times, at 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 10, 12 and 2. And we check it for, for wind, obviously if the temperature um, is not raining or it's not snowing, then uh, we'll open it up. You are portrayed and have been portrayed as a racist. Which is a load of rubbish. It's just... Unusual, I guess, for people to see you coming up here and being the champion of the, for the Aboriginal people. Look, for I, the Ananu. OK, for the people here, I just did a big trip up to Cape York and I spoke to the council up there and I'm raising their issues and I'm trying to represent them as well mm. on their issues because, again, they're saying they're not listening to us. Mm. If you can't climb, you can learn on the ground. This is the famous Marla Walk and Jimpana gives Senator Hansen a lesson in history, past and modern. And back at Parks Australia, more history. Pauline, do you recognise anything about this photograph? Oh my God! <laughs> there he is, yeah. handsome young man. Wow, wow. Just, well, it is in black and white, isn't it? <laughs> it's faded since 1985. This was handback, yeah. 85. This is the official ceremony. I was working for newspapers at the time, and while I've got my eyes closed, I must have been meditating about the rock. <laughs> if there's anything you'd like to know, just ask. I think I'll go to the Anunul people and I'll ask them. You got the experts. Yes, I will. I would like to see the rock, the climb, stay open, if it can stay open. Are you happy Senator Hanson has come up here? Yeah. You're happy? Yeah, I'm happy. Um, um, we heard a story about the what uh, Pauline doing for us. You might be opening a can of worms here, Pauline. So, I've done that before, haven't I? <laughs> you surely have. Day three and dawn brings a calm to the rock. The wind goes and the tourists come. The rock is open. We're going up. Yeah, we are going up. Great. I'm going to ask. Why are you dressed like that? It's absolutely freezing out here. I'm the only person on Uluru in a t-shirt. Well, it's desert. No, come on. OK, oh, put no. it on. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I've got three layers on. I came out prepared. Here, put it on. Oh, this... I'm like your mother. Put it on. Do what you're told. Let's see how you're far right. we go. I don't know if I'm going to do the whole lot, but let's give it a go. It's By the way, what are the... It's steep climb. It's very steep. What, what are the rules of engagement here? What if, if, if one of us starts to go? What do we do? I will not interfere. I will let you go. Really? <laughs> it's steep and slippery and treacherous, but the view is stunning. An amazing view of the Olgas. How beautiful are they? Yeah, they are. Actually, some people have been there. They said they're, they're a lot nicer over there than what the rock is itself. There's something spectacular about them. That's one view, but now there's entirely another. Pauline is pulling the pin. Seriously, I cannot walk down here. My boots are that bloody old, that they're so smooth, I'm not getting any grip. And I'll tell you what, I'm not getting any grip on my backside either. That's why I'm not going up any further. Come over here and hang on to the chain. Yeah, no, I've got my bum head down here, that's all right. A fall up here could be fatal and has been for dozens of people. 
It reinforces Senator Hansen's idea. If she can work with the Ananu to save the climb, safety must be improved. And then we see this bloke. Aren't you worried about the baby's safety? That's all right. Dad's taking responsibility. OK. With the senatorial bottom firmly planted on the sandstone and the senatorial sand shoes slowly slipping, something really weird happens. Pauline Hansen is mobbed by fans. I'm the voter. <laughs> Thank you so All much. Right, enjoy the climb. G'day, hi, g'day. I know, that's how I felt. Anyway, time to get a grip and head down to flatter earth. <laughs> You've done the rock? Oh, well, I've done a smidgen of it. You survived? Well, we're both here, no <laughs> limbs broken or anything like that, but I'll tell you what, that's a, that is a tough climb. As an Indigenous person, um, climbing Uluru is very disrespectful. A lot of people have a lot of respect for me and appreciate the job that I'm doing for them. Well, then there's the other people who don't have the respect for you. You know that. They have their own agenda. And if you claim that you're Indigenous, then you would see that that's very disrespectful. You'll only get the answers if you raise the issues and talk about it, create debate and give people a voice. That's my job. Well, there's certainly a debate. Now to clarify some questions that have been raised about that story, we did not pay Senator Hanson and the visit was not our idea. As Martin King told you, she was planning to climb the rock as invited. She asked if we wanted to cover the story and we did. Logistically, it transpired there were some travel costs met by us, not all of those costs. And that's not uncommon with stories like this. Also, out of respect for the Ananu people, we minimised vision of visitors climbing the rock. A full statement by Parks Australia about this visit can be found on our website, along with a statement from Nine Entertainment with more detail if you want it. And as you've seen on the bottom of your TV, we're running a poll on how you feel about the climbing ban at Uluru. You can have your say on the A Current Affair Facebook page. We will update you on how the votes have been cast at the end of tonight's program and bring the final result for you tomorrow.